Side 4 will be sketching on the back face. Select the back face from the view cube or press Shift 2 on your keyboard to jump there. We'll be making use of center lines, dimensions, the equal sketch relation, which we just covered, and two new sketch relations, vertical and horizontal. Let's get started. Select sketch, then select the back face that we're sketching on. We can start with laying down four circles. Let's make them equal in size first. Click on dimension, select the outside of one of the circles, and click again to place the dimension. Set it to 0.1 inches. Next, select all four circles making sure there is a 4 next to your cursor, then click on the Equal Sketch Relation. All four circles should now become equal in size. Next, we need a way to get them all equally spaced apart on this face. Let's start with center lines. Draw both a vertical and a horizontal center line on the face. Remember, make sure they're construction lines, since we'll be using them for sketching purposes only and will not be extruding the outlines that they draw. Next, position one of the circles with dimensions. So click on the dimension tool and then click first on one of the center lines and then on the circle and click again to place the dimension and set it to 0.15 inches. Repeat with the other center line and the same circle. Okay, good. Now we can add some vertical and horizontal sketch relations. First, we'll make these two top circles horizontal to each other. Select both of their centers, then click on the horizontal relation. We see that the circle is now locked horizontally to the defined circle. Next, we'll make this bottom left circle vertical to the defined circle. Select both of their centers, and click on the vertical sketch relation. Now the circle is vertically locked to the defined circle. Next, we'll take this last circle and make it horizontal to this circle and vertical to this circle. Now, try dragging these circles around and see how their sketch relations affect their movement. But notice that the three circles are still not black and we need something else to fully define their location and get them all equally spaced. With all these relations now in place, placing two more dimensions will get us there. Let's dimension the horizontal location of the top right circle. And finally, let's dimension the vertical location on one of these bottom circles. And there we have it. All three circles are fully defined. Accept the sketch and extrude the 0.025 deep holes as we've been doing on all the other sides.